Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel. Today we're going to continue our series on antivirus software. We tested Norton 360 and it was actually a good performer and interesting antivirus. They really made a good job in making it much, much better than in the past years. Uh, today we're checking McAfee Total Protection and uh, I've been trying out the 30-day trial version of Total Protection. This is the big package with every, every module. Um, firewall, antivirus, uh, anti-theft protection. And uh, my observations are not very positive on McAfee. First of all, when you install McAfee, it does a preventive scan and it detects stuff and it's not really clear what you have to do. Actually, it told me, well, you know, before installing McAfee, we detected something on your system. Click here. Well, you click there and it brings you to the McAfee support number that you have to call. Um, that's kind of stupid if you want my advice. Second of all, the reason why I didn't want to install is because I have malware bytes and it didn't like it. Um, I don't know. They don't like competition, something like that, because um, after checking, it was really malware bytes that it didn't like. Now, once I've installed McAfee, which took about 10 minutes, it downloads files and installs um, quite easily once you're past that preventive scan if you don't have any problems with it. I've noticed that my system really slowed down. I mean, this antivirus is not really good uh, it really, really takes up a lot of system resource. It also slowed down my startup. Uh, it takes at least 15 to 20 seconds more to load my computer when I start it up, which is not a good idea. And Norton 360 didn't even impact startup. It was almost, um, you know, invisible in my system. McAfee is just so slow that I actually don't like it and you know f from the first two three minutes that you actually have it on your system you already notice that you serve the web it's slower you um, you know get files uh, whatever you want to do it's slower so um, I think they have a job to do to really really improve that uh, the other thing that I don't like is that it kind of decides to scan your system almost where, whenever it wants. Uh, there is a scheduled scan, but sometimes it's just going to pop up while you're working and say, okay, I'm scanning, which means that your system is even slower. Uh, it has the general um, system modules that you'll see in antiviruses. For example, it has virus and spyware protection with real scan, real life uh, scan. You have scheduled scans. Uh, I did a quick scan to check my system. Um, one thing that I noticed is that Norton's quick scan is quite fast. It is a real quick scan. Uh, on McAfee, the quick scan got stuck somewhere in the rootkit removal or checking part. And, you know, it's kind of stuck at 98%. You don't really know what it's doing, but it's telling you that it's doing something. And it's stuck there for like 15 minutes before I decided to go to 100%. Um, that's a little annoying because it's always fun to see where it is uh, when it's scanning because was it stuck? Was it freezed up? You have no indication. That's kind of bad. Apart from that, you got web and email protection. Um, today, email protection is not really important because most people use online emails that already have scans for viruses. It has uh, phishing and scam website protection and it installs a toolbar in all the browsers, Internet Explorer, Firefox and Google Chrome. Uh, I did notice that it did not install any toolbars in Chrome 64 bits. So I guess the didn't have that toolbar ready for the 64-bit uh, version of Google Chrome. Um, it has that little toolbar. It does slow down everything you do on the web. That's another part that I don't like. It has that protection, you know, like Norton, 
where if you search for something, you get the, these little green check marks uh, that tell you, well, this website's okay and this website's not okay. I noticed that it has more websites missing than Norton. Um, and actually, when I tried it with the same website that has that malware, uh, Norton gave me a, a green OK button. McAfee just told me, well, we haven't tested this website yet. But when I clicked and wanted to download the file, it actually did the same as Norton. Norton popped up, well, there's malware in this program. Uh, I'm erasing the file. The difference with McAfee is that it's just telling you there's malware in this file, but it's not erasing it. It's asking you, do you want to continue or do you want to stop? Um, I think for most people, it's much better the way Norton does it, meaning that it just cancels the download, erases the file, doesn't ask any question. Um, you know, in everyday life, with everybody that I meet, at my work, I can tell you that the less you ask questions, the better it is. And I think McAfee should not ask that kind of question to people that usually don't know a lot about computers. It has the PC and home network tools that checks for your own network. And of course, par parental control, if you want to, uh, you know, stop, for example, um, uh, pornographic websites and stuff like that. Uh, overall, I really, really don't like total protection. Slows down your computer. Um, the interface of McAfee's total protection isn't that clear. Norton's interface is much clearer, easier to navigate through. This one is kind of, you know, awkward, and you have these little boxes with what you can do or what you cannot do, and it's not totally clear what actually it does. Um, and because it slows down your computer a lot, I really, really don't recommend McAfee. I think this is not a good version of McAfee. Um, I've seen versions, you know, of, I know McAfee for the past 25 years at least. Uh, they had a great antivirus software for many years, but I think now they, they really need to rewrite the software. It's really bloated and um, just takes too much of the system resources. So it's a no if you've thinking of buying an antivirus, I will tell you not to buy McAfee. It is not worth it. It's $65. Um, the total protection was 65 Canadian dollars, which should be something like 60, 65 uh, American dollars if you're in the United States. But uh, don't buy it. This is a bad piece of software. And if you really want to have a paid software for antivirus firewall protection. Um, Norton 360 is a great, great protection from what I see. Uh, and of course, check out our videos because we're, we're going to have a lot of videos on other antiviruses. We're going to check Bitdefender, Not32, uh, AVG Internet Security, and uh, maybe more if you have ideas on other antiviruses. You want to know what we think we're going to test them all and we're going to give you our advice and probably do a final video giving like a final score of what are the best and what are the worst depending on our tests if you enjoy our videos please subscribe to our channel you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments questions suggestions maybe you have a problem maybe something that you'd like us to make a video please ask and we'll try to put that video online and hopefully you enjoy our videos and we'll come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thank you for watching.